Hello world, welcome to the MOVE 37 course from School of AI. Today we will learn how to teach the machines to learn from a noisy fused sensor data. What is Kalman filter? Kalman filter is an optimal estimation algorithm. Let's see how we can do this. We are going to use two exciting examples today. The first example is an engine of spacecraft. The second example is how a self-driving car can navigate it using the different sensors that it contains. If you are not familiar with the topic, you may be asking yourself, what is this filter? Is it like air filter or even a coffee filter? Let's see. Today we will discuss how we can use the Kalman filter for various purposes. The first example that we are going to see is how we can measure the combustion chamber of a spacecraft engine. First we will see how a Kalman filter can be used to estimate a system state when it cannot be measured directly. We cannot go certainly go into a combustion system and see how hot it is right. Let's go a bit deeper. How a spacecraft engine is working? A spacecraft needs some thrust to propel itself into the space. The thrust is provided by the fuel. The fuel should be burned inside the combustion chamber to a certain temperature to give enough thrust. We need to monitor this com combustion temperature to keep the thrust in a certain level that the engine needs to propel. Think of this as an acceleration. When we are pressing our acceleration pedal, we are putting more fuel so the car goes faster. The same thing happens here. This seems to be an easy task, right? Can't we place a simple sensor to do this job? Okay, this is certainly not an easy task. Let's see why. Oops, that's too hot, right? The sensor would probably melt. Instead of this, we need to find a way to place the sensor in a more cooler surface, but it should be closer to the chamber. The chamber here defines the combustion chamber where the fuel is being burnt to give the thrust. Let's see how we can solve this problem. This is a expanded view of a spacecraft engine. Here, this orange color area is the combustion chamber. This is where the fuel is being burnt to create the thrust. We cannot have the sensor inside, but we can have the sensor as close as to this chamber. T in is the internal temperature that we want, but it is not available for measurement. T external is the measurement that is available. In this situation, we can use the Kalman filter to find the best estimate that we can get of the internal what we cannot measure from what we can. This is a very good example where we can use Kalman filter. So to the next example, this is my favorite one. Self-driving car. Who doesn't love self-driving car, right? Okay. So self-driving cars have many sensors that it is relying on to drive safely in the road. We have GPS. We have LIDAR, LIDAR. We have radar. We have a video camera. And we have more sensors. And all of these are controlled by a central computer. To know the location of the car, we can use GPS. But will that work always? What about if we are inside a tunnel or if we are in between two long big towers? Then we will get so many of the GPS error and we will lose the track of the car. The car will not know where it is positioned in the globe. So to avoid this problem, we have LIDAR, light detection and ranging, which will give the current position. And we have radar, which will monitor the position of the other vehicles nearby so from this we will be able to gain the knowledge of where we are going to go if the road is free we will move forward if it is not we will wait till it moves so we can use a kalman filter to combine these three sensors and get the exact location of the vehicle thank you for watching this video please go through the following link so you can read about how the kalman filter is working and the math began it thank you